Like many of you, 2020 was stressful for me. But 2021, the next year, that was even worse in terms of stress, at least for me. I was making a lot of really difficult decisions. I think I was dealing with some cumulative fatigue and also some other personal challenges in my life. And at one point, I had a panic attack. And it was a weird experience because I was actually really calm when it happened. I was so calm, I had to film a video for GFC right after, and I, and I did it. But my heart rate went extremely high. My mind was spinning. It's hard to catch my breath. I had a panic attack. You know, over the last couple of years, I've been learning, realizing how much anxiety there is in my body and in my spirit. And I actually went through the 12-step Christ-centered recovery process we have here at GFC called Regeneration. And that was one of the reasons why. It was, it was to help lean into that part of my inner life. Now, I say all that to, to say this. I know that I'm not alone. At least I hope I'm not alone. I think anxiety is something so many of us struggle with, and statistics bear that out. I mean, right now, any statistic you look at says that anxiety in our country is just through the roof. I heard a couple weeks ago when David Thomas was here that one in three children right now deal with anxiety. And by the way, if you're a parent, this is one of the most sobering statistics he shared. If you're a parent who, who deals with anxiety, your kids are seven times more likely to struggle. So this whole thing of anxiety, listen, we all deal with it. Um, y- you could say that we've made it through one pandemic and we're in another one. And you know, maybe you don't see yourself in some of those statistics and you say, well, I don't really struggle with anxiety. I, here's, here's what I believe, and I could be wrong. I think there is an undercurrent of fear and anxiety in our culture today that's permeating everything, and it, and it affects all of us. There, there's anxiety about politics, about the future of our country, about the market, about inflation, about employment, about the kind of world my kids are going to grow up in, and on and on and on it goes. And by the way, anxiety manifests in lots of different ways. I think most of the outrage in our culture today is really rooted in fear. And anxiety. So this is, a, this is a topic, listen, we all deal with, personally, collectively. What does Jesus have to say about anxiety? What did Jesus think about it, and how did he teach us as disciples to respond to anxiety, to living in an anxious world? The text we're going to look